Hello friends, welcome to Shri Netralaya. In this video, we will be discussing a case of albinism which I have managed with some lateral thinking. Albinism is a group of disorder wherein there is little or no production of pigment melanin. The type and amount of melanin body produces determines the color of your skin, hair and eyes. Melanin also plays a role in development of optic nerves. So, people with albinism have vision problems. Clinical features range from pendular nystagmus to foveal hypoplasia and absence of foveal pit on OCT imaging. In addition, there are transillumination defects in iris. This is a retroillumination image showing iris vasculature and muscles of iris. The retina is very thin and choroidal vasculature can be seen predominantly. These are retroillumination images of the same patient showing iris vasculature and IOL. Few cases may have squint with associated amblyopia. So let's see how we'll manage this case. We plan keratopigmentation for this case. Plan is to do tattoo in a ring pattern, sparing central pupillary and parapupillary area so that we can preserve central vision without any loss of field of vision. Please do note that this is a non-reversible procedure. So if you are planning something like this, you need to explain it in detail to the patient. This eye was operated for cataract and patient was having a lot of glare and inability to bear the light, inability to see clearly and intolerance to sunlight. So as planned, we have proceeded with tattooing of this cornea in a circular fashion, leaving central island of clear cornea as it is. I am going to do this in a phased manner, one quadrant at each time. There are many techniques for performing tattooing. Tattooing can be done with a tattoo gun and ink as I have done in this particular case which I feel is least traumatic. The second is we can create lamellar packets and use soot in that packet, a candle soot. Here I am using a tattoo gun. It has a calibration also so that my needle depth can be adjusted according to my requirement. I have performed ultrasound pachymetry and OCT pachymetry in this particular case before proceeding for tattooing. So I have a preset depth of around 250 microns and I am ready with my ink which is sterile autoclaved and to be locally applied with the help of iris spatula. This is followed by multiple punctures with tattoo gun. This procedure takes bit of patience as you need to do it for long duration. I am going to perform this in one particular quadrant and then same to be repeated in each quadrant. I don't want to overdo it. If I have any confusion, I will prefer to underdo my procedure and if needed can be repeated after few weeks. As this is an irreversible procedure, we need to inform to the patient about the change in color of his eyes. Also need to explain that the procedure is not going to get reversed.
I'm going to wash in between this ink and check out how much tattoo has taken up. Over years I have noticed that tattoo fades a bit but not much. In most cases where it has entered into a mid stroma, there is hardly any fading of tattoo ink. So we need to be careful not to overdo the treatment. If it is underdone, it can be repeated after few weeks again. I am repeating my steps of performing a tattoo, washing it with saline and checking how much has taken up. I am very conscious about not overdoing my treatment. Slowly I am proceeding. I have taken a lot of time to perform this. I have cut short the video to save some time. This procedure is followed by the patient testimony and patient is very happy with present vision. She is planning the same procedure to be done in other eye but before proceeding we need to complete her intraocular procedures like cataract and need to explain the risk involved. Especially change in color of eyes and irreversibility of the procedure. Once tattooing is completed, a bandage contact lens is applied which can be removed after 3 to 5 days once the epithelium has healed. These are some of the post-operative pictures of the same patient which shows annular ring of tattoo all around. Patient vision is very good. She is quite happy with present vision. How many? How many? How many? How many? जिंदगी में कभी भी नहीं okay. थोड़ा सा मतलब चलने में मुझे दिक्कत रहती है मैं 40 साल की हूं एक पल तो ऐसा लगा कि आप जिंदगी खत्म कर दो पर फिर कहीं से मतलब बहुत जगह गए हमने पर सबने हाथ खड़ा कर दिए थे और यहां आके डॉक्टर के पास आके डॉक्टर ने थोड़ा सा बने कि ठीक है हो सकता है इतना होने के बाद मैं थोड़ा सा दिल में उम्मीद जगी थी यहां आके हम लोग ने 3 तारीख को 3 मई को ऑपरेशन किया दूसरे दिन ऑपरेशन करते ही समय मेरे को ऐसा एहसास हुआ कि नहीं अपन को दिखने लग गया है उसी समय एक एहसास हुआ था कि दूसरे दिन मेरे मिस्टर ने आंखें पट्टी और टिप खोली वो प्रकाश देख के मैं इतनी खुश हो गई मैं तो मैं मेरे मिस्टर मेरे दो बच्चे इतने खुश हुए क्योंकि उनको पता था मेरी मम्मी किसी किस कंडीशन में है जब मैं को बाहर जाती थी ना तो मेरे को छोटे बच्चे का हाथ पकड़ के चलना पड़ता आप बहुत अच्छा है जी बहुत ही बहुत ही अच्छा अभी मेरे को बताइए कि आपको अपनी जिंदगी में जो रूटीन आप आपके एक्टिविटीज करते हो जो सवेरे से लेके शाम तक जो काम करते हो उसमें कहीं पे कोई दिक्कतें जा रही है दिक्कत नहीं आप अच्छे से कर पा रहे हो बिल्कुल ओके लाइट आपको पहले बहुत तकलीफ देता था हां हां अभी लाइट की तकलीफ लग रही है नहीं नहीं, नहीं अब तो सूर्य की रोशनी में पहले तो मैं सूर्य की रोशनी में देख भी नहीं सकती थी जी पर अब सूर्य की रोशनी में देख सकती हूं और आना जाना कर सकती हूं ओके अब गाड़ी चलाते हो नहीं नहीं गाड़ी तो अभी तक चला ही नहीं अच्छा ठीक है कुछ दिन के बाद मोबाइल देखना चालू की अच्छा तो पहले के फोटो अब देखती हूं मैं कि मैं कैसे दिखती थी अपने आप को मतलब कभी देख ही नहीं कि साड़ी में कैसी दिखती हूं पर अब वो बिल्कुल क्लियर दिखता है बहुत बढ़िया तो आप अपने मतलब पूरे रिजल्ट से काफी खुश हां बहुत खुश और लाइट्स आप काफी अच्छे से डिजाइन कर पाते हैं है ना थैंक यू